I make this mistake all the time, and the mistake is pushing things off. You think you could do today's work tomorrow and finish tomorrow's work all at the same time and you'd be okay. Well, that's not true, especially when it comes to learning and using memory techniques. Let's say you're trying to build a three digit number system. That's a thousand images. So you're like, hold on, if I do 20 images a day, I'll finish in 50 days. Okay, I could easily create 20 images a day. Day one happens, maybe you're tired, it's a long day. You're like, you know what? I don't have the energy for this. Let me just push it off till tomorrow. Tomorrow, you have 40 images. Something unexpected happens tomorrow. The next day, you have 60 images to create. So you can see how easy it is for everything to start snowballing. Because if you miss five days, guess what? That's 100 images you have to create. And that is a lot of images. You can't just pick anything and use it as an image, right? Like a pack of gum, a pencil, headphones. No. Your system probably has very spe specific parameters on what your images could be. And so it takes a lot of time to create 100 images. And it takes a lot of energy as well. So that's what happens when you keep pushing things off. You screw yourself, essentially. And it applies to anything. Vocabulary words, you know, you're learning vocabulary words. You're like, I, today I don't feel like it. I don't want to create the stories, whatever. And so it starts to snowball. And eventually you might have to learn 50 vocabulary words in one day. And so it becomes an impossible task because if you can't even learn 10 vocabulary words in one day, what makes you think you can learn 50? Even something like reading a book, if you do 10 pages a day and then eventually you keep messing up, you're going to have like 100 pages, 70 pages to read, and that's just too much for you. Yes, maybe 20 pages might be doable, right? And... So you're like, okay, I could you know, totally catch up if I just don't do this, this, and this. But you totally push everything else off, and then those things start building up too. So it's like a chain reaction. Once you push one thing off, then you're trying to catch up on it, then something else falls behind, and it's just a complete mess. And so my advice to you is do something. So if you're creating 20 images per day, and you can't create all 20 of them, guess what? Do one. That's it. Yes, it's not 20. Yes, it's not going to help you finish your system any sooner, but at least you're making some sort of progress. You're moving forward in some direction. Learn one vocabulary word. That's better than learning none. Read one page. So as long as you're doing something, you're at least moving in the right direction. It might be very slowly, but at least you're moving in the right direction. And that's all that matters when you're trying to learn something, right? That you're trying to learn more of it and the best way to do that even when you fail at trying to learn everything you plan on learning doing something moves you there and is better than doing nothing so hopefully you enjoy this video and i'll see you next time